Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to use active delighting in post processing using NX Studio by Nikon. Active delighting is a function or a feature that is available on Nikon cameras, uh, and what it does is it helps control the dynamic range of an image, uh, particularly in circumstances where you have uh, really bright uh, highlights and deep shadows and you want to keep the detail in the highlights and in the shadows. So what active delighting does is it like only affects the shadows and the highlights so it kind of brings them down into range so that they're not um, so they're not either totally just black or to totally just washed out white. So uh, I'm going to show you how it works here real quick in a couple of ways you can use it in NX Studio. Uh, and basically what it does. So we have this image here and it's backlit. There's a bright sun up here. Now I want you to look at this area up here by the sun and uh, the shadow detail on this uh, figure right here. And uh, that will show you what's going on pretty well. So if we go down to the active delighting function here and it only works in RAW on uh, NX Studio. And we go down here and we go to, we're going to set it to high because normal doesn't do much on this particular image. But you have a range from low to extra high. So you can try that depending on your uh, photograph. So in this case I'm going to go to high just so we can see more obviously what happens. You can see it starts to uh, lighten up the shadow details up here. It hasn't really done anything up here. If we go to extra high, it's bringing up a little more detail. And if we go to extra high too, which is really um, uh, the most intense that you can get on this particular setting right here, you'll see that we got a lot, it's a lot lighter here where it was shadowy before, but it didn't, it didn't, we still have a defined kind of sun, even though this is, there's no detail in the sun, obviously around the sun, you can see there's still blue sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the original value here, bring it back down, and we're going to go to exposure compensation. And I'm going to uh, up the exposure a little bit. Now it's it's lightened up the shadow right here, but you can see that it's losing detail up at the top up here by the sun. So if we go back to the original value here, you can see there's a more defined sun. There's a circle around there. And so if we go up even more, you can see the sun has totally uh, washed out up here, e even though we have it brighter down here. And then a lot of the sky has washed out at a certain point when we go up a certain number of stops. So let's go that back down to original there. So you can see if I go back one more time and we go back to the highest setting, it's lightened up the shadow, but we still can see that there's a sun there. There's still sky there. So uh, this is just to show you by example what it does. So it's probably more exaggerated than what you might want to do in a, in a photograph, but it does show what's going on here. So we're going to uh, go back down here and go to original value here. Let's move off of the exposure. And let me show you one other thing here. If we go under... Uh, adjust brightness and color, there's actually a delighting HS control right here. And this slider, we can slide it up and we have a more precise amount that we can apply the uh, delighting. And so uh, it's a similar thing and it's preserving highlights and shadows. So it's not letting either go uh, too dark or too light as you're adjusting it. So it, it tries to keep it into the range is what it's doing. And so uh, the other thing that I would show you is we can also use what's called uh, shadow protection here. And if we adjust that, that's another way that we can, we may only affect just the shadow detail. The same with the highlight protection, we can use that as well. Um, if, if we're trying to uh, bring back in some highlight detail into the image. So we can use highlight and shadow detail, but it, it, it is a little bit different because uh, the shadow detail right here uh, 
is not is not really working with the highlight detail it's only working with the shadow whereas when we work down here it works with both and so it actually adjusts contrast because you're doing that as well so it affects the contrast and the brightness of the shadow and the highlight when you're doing that so you may want to mess around with uh, the uh, delighting HS or the active delighting uh, features here in NX studio and what you can do is you can mess around with those and if you get it close you can actually go in and use highlight and shadow protection or uh, contrast and brightness and even exposure compensation from that point uh, to make other fine tuning to it but it's just kind of another tool that NX Studio has to help you adjust your pictures and it's particularly for uh, instances where you have deep shadows and bright highlights in the same photograph. This has been Photo Blue and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.